all so this is day seven with our pavlik harness and we have officially made one week um yay i feel like it's uh it feels like it's a little bit of a celebration as this um time a week ago i was in a completely different headspace to i am now um and it has gone quite quickly to be honest so i'm just hoping you know um one down 11 to go maybe a few less maybe a few more um but we'll see but we've um reached a teeny tiny milestone which is um a good thing i guess um not huge amounts going on today i just feel like we're getting into that sort of day-to-day -day routine now um i was speaking the other day about um wanting to get us a, a special sleeping bag for him as i as i couldn't find one that we would had already that fitted um and a friend actually has kindly bought us one which is um so sweet so i'm really excited for that to arrive um what else has been going on um a couple of days ago i was speaking about some really um nice joggers that i found for him in h&m that i'd sized up on and then i bought a few more pairs i was really hoping that they would be arriving before tomorrow but i just got a an email saying that they um are going to be delayed so um unfortunately max is going to be wearing the same pair of trousers um for a few more days unless i can sort of get to the shops and pick him up some um, I know it's not a, an issue, but, you know, I'm just trying to wash them and dry them um, in time for him to wear them again. And then, you know, just hope that we don't have any um, leaks or accidents or things like that. Um, the only other thing I was going to say is I, I didn't actually realise this could happen, but a girl um, uh, reached out to me and she was telling me that um, her daughter's just been fitted with a, a harness. I think it's the same girl I was speaking about yesterday. Um and she actually had to take her back to the hospital to get the harness realigned because she felt that it wasn't um, on properly and one of her legs was being restricted. Um, so she took her back to the hospital and was able to be seen really quite quickly. Um, and thankfully, she did get an appointment because one of the legs wasn't um, in the right place. Um, and then it just got me thinking, like, what do I do in, in that situation? Should I be looking out for it? I, I wasn't aware that it could um, sort of pop out or not be fitted correctly especially because we're not like adjusting the harness as such um so now i'm sort of trying to be really aware of um, of sort of his legs positioning what his movement is um and then sort of in the hope that if i ever needed to go back i'd be able to be seen but obviously we're away next week so what would i do if you know i'm not happy with how the harness is while we're away or or something like that so um i might contact the um physiotherapy department tomorrow or whatever department it is and maybe just ask the question you know if i'm not happy or i don't think he looks comfortable or something what should i do if i can't get to this hospital so um we'll see um last night was our first night with our uh, properly newly adapted sleepy head and it seemed to work fine he was uh, a bit more settled i think um but yeah so we're just uh, persevering with that um and that's about it really uh we're gonna do a uh, proper flannel wash and vest change again tomorrow um and yeah so that will be sort of uh two days i think since the last one that we done um and that should be nice for him um just being a little bit of a, a fuss pot really like any other uh baby who's approaching three months old so um pretty happy most of the time but he's doing a little bit of a fuss today i think we're still struggling a little bit with um wind and that's what this cry is um he can't kick his legs and actually you can't see on the camera but he is sort of trying to stretch his legs out which is all what he used to do when he was trying to pass wind he'd like wriggle around to try and release it so um we are using Infocol um just to try and help um but we'll just go with that and just try do a little bit of a uh, changing of positioning um and stuff that's about it really really not much um to speak about just really happy that we're one week down and so far no real dramas with the harness we're definitely uh, more comfortable just sort of cracking on with it um but yeah i'll check back tomorrow um just with uh, anything else but yeah catch you later